It's a lovely day. Tempo session today, two times 5K, 1K float in the middle. Won't be going prone too much because I want to focus. Because Tuesday went wrong because I'd go prone too much. Also, forgot to mention, first run the Boston 11s. See what these bad boys are like? These are the replacement for the Adios Pro 2s. Last like 30 meters of the warm-up. We get into the rep. First pressings of the Bostons. Don't know if I like them, they're quite firm. All right, 5K tempo, here we go, off we go. About 180 heart rate, my throat, my threshold heart rate. Just coming up to the end of the session now. Good session, enjoyed it. Um, conditions are hot, but I feel like I got the adaptations I wanted. I think all my splits are around about threshold, maybe a little bit high towards the end. Um, but yeah, good session. Getting now, Friday night. I don't drink, so I'll have Fanta. Hello, it's Saturday. I forgot the date, but it's Saturday. Um, easy 10k today. Obviously, I had the 2x5k tempo yesterday. The Boston's have really hurt my feet. Um, my feet are quite sore, particularly sort of like down the outside of my little toe. Um, I don't think they're too tight. I just think the ride's really firm on them. Um, I'm a, obviously, I'm usually quite a cushion runner. Obviously, I run the Invincibles most days. And they are like super cushions, so. Well, by the way, just while we're here, some ponies. Anyway, I love that sound when you're down the country lanes. When you're down the country lanes and you just stop, and you just hear the birds chirping. You don't get it in the winter so much. Now the weather's getting nicer, you get it a lot more. It's nice. Really calm, it's why I love being in the countryside. Right, let's go back to running anyway. Look where I was. <clears throat> yeah, it's an easy 10k today. Oh, scared of squirrel. Um, my last long run next tomorrow ahead of Great Manchester run next Sunday, which will be the 21st of May. I've just realised I've been using the GoPro for three or four days. I've not once introduced myself. It's sort of a bit about my background, how old I am. So we'll do that now. Uh, my name's Connor. I'm 30 years old. I've been running for about 16 months. I started January 2022, um, just as a way to sort of help my mental health. Through lockdown, it got really bad. My anxiety got really bad, my social anxiety. So holding a GoPro up and running past people is still quite triggering for me. And um, so you've probably seen a few times where it stops bluntly, or like bluntly, abruptly. That's because I'm anxious about people. Uh, mimicking me or mocking me for doing it. I've been active all my, all my life. Um, I've played a lot of sports when I was a kid, more as a, a hobby rather than like any competitive level. Um, I never really run. I used to ride a lot of bikes when I was a, a young boy to school and things. But yeah, a lot of the time it's just been like sort of casual social sport. It's only really since I got into running that I run for charity last year in London that I realized just how much I love running. And it's become part of my daily life now and you know I've achieved a 257 marathon a couple of weeks ago in Manchester and now it's it's genuinely a passion of mine. Um, I still do it every day for my mental health but a lot of it is because I actually just love running. So a natural question arises of if I struggle with anxiety and mental health why did I start a YouTube channel? Uh, it's a good question really because I'm still trying to find the answer myself. Mainly just I know how much YouTube's helped me in terms of my mental health with running and fitness uh, and getting the sub three, the amount of people I've watched on YouTube. So I want to join that community. If I can help someone achieve a goal of theirs or I can help them run to help their mental health, then I'm mission accomplished because 
I was in a dark place until I started running. And then since I started running, it's got a lot better. And I hope that could, my videos can pass that on to someone else. Long term running, personal running goals. I'd like to do the six marathon majors. I've done London. I've got Berlin this autumn. Hopefully I qualify for Boston next year. Um, if not, I might go back to London, see if I can get a sub three in London. Um, I've been looking up a lot of them and obviously very hard to get into most of them via ballot. London and Tokyo seem extremely difficult to get into via ballot. And obviously Boston, even raised 10,000 pounds for charity, which after raising 2,000 and finding that difficult, 10,000 seems a little bit too much. Um, or you run fast. And I qualified for Boston based on my age. Whether I'm quick enough yet, I don't know. I don't think 257 will be enough. I think I probably need about 252 to get in. In terms of my running goals this year, um, again, I'd like to go sub 250 in Berlin. I'd like to go sub 125 next weekend uh, in Manchester Half Marathon. So a great Manchester Run Half Marathon. Sub 17.30 I think would be a good goal for 5k by the end of the year. Um, eventually I'd like to go sub 37 for a 10k but that, that'll come with time. So yeah, that's the goal for the rest of the year. And a little, little insult, oh, I'm scared by a pigeon, Christ. Um, yeah, so that's the goal for the rest of this year and a little snippet into next year. Just under 8k into this run, having to pace 521. Heart rate's a little bit high at the minute because I'm waffling. Uh, thank you for watching the YouTube if you've watched the first few videos. Uh, there's a lovely 10k on a lovely Saturday. Average pace 519. Average heart rate 147. Bang on. Just what we like. Quite warm now. Probably struggle to keep my heart rate quite low in the summer just because of how warm it's going to get. Just got some strides to do, which I'll put on the GoPro. And then we're going home. Probably some sausage rolls and some Fanta because I love Fanta. I'm obsessed with it. Absolutely obsessed with it. The stride's done. Run done. Long run tomorrow.